this is my confession. I can't help it. I'm addicted to them. Confessional poets. Sylvia Plath was my first. I could taste her words, and her tongue fluttered in my mouth like ravens, all dry lizard licks and teeth. Her poetry said, I will fuck you, and I will fuck you up. <laughs> her poetry said, I will love you without caring whether you love me back. But she lived like she cared, and she died without knowing how much we loved her. I was 11 and had fucked a dozen girls before I knew what I was, what that made me. I discovered myself a lesbian while watching the Miss America pageant. <laughs> Face glued to the screen, whispering encouragements and cons consolations to my choices. I went to sleep dreaming of Miss Alaska, and in my princess canopy bed we rubbed more than noses. <laughs> myself watching TV that day and asked myself what made it so intense, so important. Even at 11, it was a guilty pleasure, this contest that reduced women to nothing more than their bodies, breasts, and butts, and big hair, battling for modeling contracts and fur coats. Prizes no self-respecting feminist, no self-respecting 70s woman would accept even at 11. But my hungriest fantasies haven't changed in 30 years, drowning in the soft luxury of women in fur. But what about that technicolor moment saying, there she is, she's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> the hours of girl grinding lips and hips had not. I knew in that moment, torn between too much beauty and not enough crowns to reward it, that I loved women the way I loved books. Woo! Ravenously. <laughs> as fast and as many as I could lay my hands on. Reading indiscriminately in every genre and savoring my favorites again slowly. I wanted to own that moment, those women, to wrap the exact second in leather bindings lined up on a shelf where I could take down each pout each whimper, each bathing suit, flaming baton, sequin gown, each breathless prom queen, whenever I wanted. I wanted to eat them like poetry. I wanted to bite women and spit fire. I wanted to hear their confessions. I wanted to give them something to confess. <laughs> Laps on the page. Beauty queens on the TV screen might have thrilled my preteen heart, but it was poets who stole my soul. I've always loved confessional poets. Poets who don't kiss, but tell anyway. Poets who curdle soft words in hard mouths. Poets that know love is a battlefield whose trees are drawn beside lines in the sand and a ceasefire is just long enough for past the butter and fucking women who don't kiss. There's no time to bother with pecks or smooches or kind words. I confess I love poets who don't love me back. I confess I love books who don't love me back. I confess their indifference makes no dent in my titanium love. I confess that I have used poetry the way some men have used women. I confess I have used poetry to capture lovers. I confess that I have been used by poetry, captured by love. I confess to loving confessional poetry and women I don't know, and is sometimes confusing me too. I like kind women and unkind poets. <laughs> I like her mouth, even if she'll never kiss me. I like her need, her sacred rage, her vision of heaven. I like how she'll fuck me with a handful of well-lubricated words in front of a crowd of drunken critics and other bankrupt poets. 
Her poetry is a communion wafer forced onto the tongue. This is my body, don't forget it. The saliva in her performance kiss is wine. Since teeth come before tongue in her kisses, there is blood in this wine. You will remember her. I worship her or her poem. It's the same. I make a religion of loving confessional poets, old and new. What strange angels they are, leading us into the purgatory of masturbation and memory to find salvation, a well-placed caesura in the daily cadence of incest, abortion, divorce, and affairs illicit and ill-fated. Godless angels, sullen saints, the truth does not free us. We confess not sins, but survival. We refuse absolution. Confession is its own reward. Oh, my sister confessors, my succubi, mia culpa, mia culpa.